Yeah, we're out here doing one of my one of my favorite things uh, this time of year, uh, late ice, and, and that's chasing perch on some of our big lakes we have here in northern Minnesota. And um, you know, one of the challenges that we we have as as fisheries managers is trying to balance the predator prey relationship. And and what I'm talking about is uh, you know in this instance we're on Leech Lake, and perch, uh, yellow perch are, are one of the mainstay forage species here for predators, just like they are in most of our lakes in Minnesota. And um, one of the challenges is making sure that, that we protect the perch population well enough to uh, continue to support the tremendous predator species that we have in the system, like walleyes and muskies and others. Um, you know, in some of our smaller lakes, uh, we've actually lost uh, a lot of our, our perch populations. Or, or at least we've, we've altered them. Uh, we don't have the larger perch that we used to be able to produce in those systems. And um, you know that's created some management challenges for us, particularly for walleye management, which are very dependent on, on yellow perch as a primary forage species. So, uh, you know, and just for an example, you know, this is about a, about a 10 and a half inch perch here that we caught today. And, and um, you know, that's about an eight year old, old fish in this lake. And, uh, you know, whether it's through, uh, Predators taking off on their own, like northern pike. You know, a lot of folks that fish in Minnesota are familiar with northern pike populations expanding in a lot of lakes, uh, becoming high density, uh, slow growing fish. You know, stunted populations where most of the fish are under 22 inches. You know, that's a lot of prey demand uh, exerted by those fish. One reason for the, the recent pike regulation change uh, that was implemented statewide last year. or. Uh, you know, whether it's through our own management activities trying to meet expectations uh, set by anglers. And, and what I'm talking about is stocking walleyes and uh, whether it's fry or fingerlings, that's adding more mouths to a system. And, and uh, you know, regardless of, of what system we're talking about, uh, they all have their tipping points. Uh, a great example, most folks, you know, probably have a garden at home and, and there's a reason you're supposed to place, uh, supposed to space your plants your tomato plants, for example, far enough apart it's so that uh, they're not inhibiting each other, competing with each other for food and space and sunlight and water. Um, the same applies to fish. There are um, thresholds where density becomes the limiting factor. And, and uh, so when we're talking about fisheries management, just keep in mind, you know, that's always one of the challenges we're working with is try to appropriately balance predator management and expectations for predator species, which are most of our sport fish uh, species with uh, the prey that are available in the system.